Welcome to another Tree Stuff Lunch and Learn. Uh, my name is Travis Figerson. I've got Christina Amerson with me. And today we're going to be talking about the Davy Tree Care Company. Now, hold up. Before you leave, don't sign off. You might think this is just about Davy, but this is really about a journey I had as a, in the industry and now having working for Davy and seeing them in a totally different light than I did before. So just get seated, get your lunch out, get everybody off the job site, go get some water. If you're down south, I know it's hot. If you're up in the Northeast, we've got some heat going on up here as well, out West. Love you guys out in the West Coast as well. Uh, take a break, relax, and have a little lunch and learn time with us. So, again, my name is Travis Fickerson. I'm an assistant district manager at Chippers, Inc., a DV tree care company. And I've got Chris Amerson with me. Chris, say hello. Oh. Oh, right. How is she muted again? <laughs> there she is. I think, I'm, I think I'm back. I think I'm back. Yeah, yeah. Chris Amerson here. Um, pleasure to join Travis and talk to everyone today. Um, again, um, stick around. Like Travis said, this isn't the um, the debut that maybe you're used to. We can dive a little bit deeper. So that's us. We're here today, and we're going to talk about the debut. And the debut that we know, the debut that maybe we don't know. So some history was really cool to me because I just love, I'm a nerd. I love tree stuff. I love eating about trees, hence tree stuff. Um, I love all the events that I've been a part of with tree stuff. You might've seen me and other things such as the, uh, the crane webinar we did, the miniature crane rigging removal we did from my kitchen, uh, the safety culture and leadership, as well as Jambo and many other events that I've been a part of for a number of years here at tree stuff. Thank you so much for having me tree stuff. And now let's talk to Davey. So Davey began in 1880. They're the oldest tree care company in the U.S. Potentially the oldest tree care company in the world. I don't know if I can say 100% sure on that, but I think they might be close. They were incorporated in 1909. Okay, so they became a business in 1909. Started making some money out of this deal, you know? Started making some money. But then they became an employee owned in 1979, and that's really something we're going to focus on today. John Davey was regarded as the father of tree surgery. He was kind of the mastermind in North America about tree surgery. He brought a lot of the things that we're still doing today to light. Davies today is comprised of 10,728 employees. Of those, a lot of us are employee owners. And we're going to talk a lot more about employee ownership toward the end of this thing. And again, I want you to understand that, yeah, I get it. Having come from the industry where I started my roots at, very much, you know, like lots of us, I started off doing a lot of things without knowledge. I got in a tree camera when I was 17 years old, but just a pickup truck, a Poland chainsaw, a set of Klein uh, spikes, and a double D weaver saddle, and that was it. You know, I've got videos somewhere of me doing tree work with my hat around backwards and no shirt on. I was that guy, all right? But I progressed and I moved through and I have changed my view of the industry and I've also changed my view of the company. Now, this is not a shameless plug. Well, yeah, it is. It is a shameless plug for Davey, but not here to say that Davey's the only company you can go work for. The biggest thing is whenever you choose a company to go work for, choose a safe company. Choose a company that values you as an employee and values your safety as an employee over profit. We all are in business to make money. I understand that. We all got bills to pay. Right there with you on that one. But really, at the end of the day, when you choose a company to go work for, choose a company that values you. So some of the service lines that you could choose to go work for if you wanted to work for Davey is line clearance. All right. Most people know Davey does line clearance. Do you know right now? Nationwide, Davy has 200 plus current openings today that you could go work for a company right now doing line clearance for Davy today. What was really cool about line clearance is it was deemed essential to the infrastructure in North America during COVID. So I know a lot of people got their businesses shut down during COVID, couldn't work for a lot of reasons. Line clearance wasn't one of those. They were able to stay open the entire time, keeping our light, power, communication wires, all of that running good and go so we could save power and stay online, all right? Next, we got residential commercial tree work, right? Which is my home and my bread and butter. It's what I came up with. I know residential commercial tree work really well. There are 400 plus current openings in North America in the residential commercial region right now. That's huge to me. I understand everybody's got workload issues, right? We all have got a ton of work coming in. We all need employees. Yeah, well, Davey does too, right? There's huge, large growth opportunities here at Davey. You could come in very much like a good friend of mine, Jim Houston, who's now a general manager and a vice president of the company, he started out in tree care, pulling brush to the chipper. That's how he got his start at Davy. And he worked his way up to a climber, to a crew leader, to a salesperson, then on to management and so forth of there. Very much like myself. When I got into this industry, I didn't come into the industry in an office, all right? 
yeah, I am in an office now and I've got my computer screens and reporting and all that fun stuff, but I still wear my ARB pros to work every single day. This morning, I was actually out running a crane on a job site, helping out a crew real quick, get set up on a difficult setup. So what's beautiful to me about Davey is it's not just one job. It's opportunity to grow in those jobs. Another cool thing is storm response. I love storm work. For a lot of you who know me over the years, know I have a background, 15 years fire rescue for the city of Durham, North Carolina, fire department. So I really love emergency response. It was a great career of mine that I got to share along with my arboriculture career at the time. And if you come to work in the tree care industry, you can do storm response, whether it's for Davey or anybody else. You can be out there traveling and helping put people's lives back together. What a lot of people don't understand when storms come through is they take people's lives and they decimate them. They just ruin people's lives. And the last thing they're thinking about is how to get their power on so they can turn their, you know, keep their refrigerator and all of those things from, you know, spoiling all their meat. All right. So you can work and help put people's lives back using utility restoration, helping storm crews like the one in this picture here, go back and restore power lines so we can get those things up. It's about being part of something bigger, which is another thing I want to talk about at Davey. Yeah, Davey's the big, bad company, blah, blah, blah. Here, I've heard it all the time. Oh, why do I want to work for the big guy? Yeah, you're right. 10,000 employees, it's a big company, 100%. But you get a chance to make a difference. Just like every other company out there, it's no different. You get a chance to go work on people's properties, in storm and outside of storm work, making a difference. Another division that Davey has, a lot of people don't know about, is the thing called DRG, Davey Resource Group. Now, Davey Resource Group is really cool, I think. So Davey had this thing where we had utility work, we had residential commercial work, and then we kind of had this like, well, we've got customers that have needs, but we really can't meet these needs. So, hey, let's go find a way to meet these needs. That's what DRG is. DRG is composed of scientists, utility foresters, urban foresters, GPS field technicians, and they work in environmental consulting, planning, and management. There's 24 offices nationwide. And right now, you can see on the screen, you've got 33 scientists that are needed today. So maybe you know somebody who's, in, who's a scientist who wants to work in the green care industry. Boom, they can come work doing science in our industry right now into vegetation management. Maybe GPS field technicians want to go out, survey lines. Maybe it's utility foresters or urban foresters. Maybe it's wetlands. All of these things are things that Davy Resource does. I love to look at Davy Resources. They're kind, of the, they're kind of the division that if RC doesn't know how to do it, residential commercial, or utility doesn't know how to do it, Davy Resource has got an answer for it. So it's kind of a cool opportunity and a cool new division that's come along. Also have commercial landscape, all right? How awesome is that? So a lot of people don't realize that Davy also does commercial landscape. Now that's mowing grass, of course, weed eating, edging, blowing, but also things such as fertilization, lime, aeration, overseeding, plantings, large-scale plantings, large-scale tree plantings even. There's 177 current openings right now in commercial landscape. So there's a, there's a job for every single person that's interested here at Davy. And again, we understand that it's about this big monster, right? And I understand that you're right now thinking that this is just blah, 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 the normal Davy that you know. Yep, I got it. The big bad wolf on the block going to come up and eat up all the small business. I understand. At one time, that felt that way. But also there's things such as the Davy Institute. So the Davy Institute of Tree Sciences, we call it DITS, kind of a silly name. But it was started in 1908, right when they got incorporated. So DITS is all about training and providing education to our workers. It's one thing I hear the most from new workers that join our industry. How do I learn more? How do I get an education? And I promise you, nobody has time to educate anybody right now. We're all slam busy. We're coming out of COVID, which for most of the green care industry was the best profit year we've ever had because people are staying at home. They were getting stimulus checks from the government and they wanted to spend money on their landscape that they were living in because they couldn't travel. So we had a huge surge in work. Well, when nobody had a chance and to travel, nobody had the chance to train. Davy Institute still was out there training. They were doing webinars. They were doing an LMS learning management system we have at Davy where you can log on through your phone, through the Davy Connect app. You can log on through your computer, and you can get access to all these amazing training resources right there at your fingertips. So the Davy Institute is all about a support team of scientists and specialists that work in every area of our work. So I think it's really cool from a company standpoint of I know I've got workers out there today that are looking for information on fire blight and apple trees, or maybe they're looking for information on tent caterpillars, or maybe they're looking for information on rigging. Slips, trips, and falls. Maybe they're OSHA 300 or OSHA 30 card, right? 
All of that stuff they can get on LMS right at their fingertips. Another resource and a support thing. So yeah, the big bad wolf. Well, the big bad wolf's got some pretty cool things going for it too. So what's in it for you? Well, first thing is competitive pay. We've got very competitive pay for the industry here. All your gear and PPE is provided for you. Of course, you got the medical, dental, vision, health benefits that I understand that most young workers don't think anything about. Right? They go, oh, benefits, what do I need those for? Well, you kind of want to make sure you're taking care of yourself, right? Davy has a great benefits package. You got retirement plans, education, training, advancement, and relocation. So with 124 offices nationwide in North America and Canada, I have workers at a shipper's company here that was purchased by Davy on March 1st have already taken transfers to Colorado to other Davy offices because their significant other one moved. I have one worker who's going to college. He got into Colorado State. And he was like, hey, I don't want to leave the tree care industry, Travis. What can I do? I got him hooked up with a manager out there. Boom. Now he's working in a Colorado office and going to school all while staying part of the same company. But the biggest benefit here, hands down, is the employee ownership. Now, let me let this sink in for a second. I worked owning my own company for a number of years. I also have worked for other companies. And I'm not taking away anything out there from other company owners, all right? But there's something to be said about the fact that I know right now my success today and the success my team has that I manage today affects my ownership, affects my stock. There's a saying out there, Nick Bonner says, that Davy Tree Care has made more millionaire tree workers than any other company. I believe he's probably correct. Because as a stock owner, I get to buy stock with every single paycheck. And that stock, as the company does well, my stock does well. So my stock is growing. So instead of going and making a bunch of money for somebody I don't know for some other large company, their family, that's great. I'm glad their family is going to be taken care of. What about my family? So at Davey, with stock ownership, I'm able to know that my stock is going to take care of me when I retire. It's going to make terror. So down the road, if I need to cash some stock in to put a down payment on a house, boom, I can go cash my stock in and make a down payment on a house. I'm not taking it out of my savings. I'm taking out the success of the company, and that's huge. Davy Stock is one of the largest ESOPs, which is an employee-owned company. Essentially, it's an employee stock option company, right? It's not. It's not. It's private, so it's not traded in Wall Street. You can't go to Wall Street and, and buy Davy Stock. It doesn't work that way. But you can buy it with every paycheck, and there's certain stock offerings that you can get as an employee of the company. And really, what this is about is letting you share in the success of the company. Because, yeah, we've got all these great things. Like we've got the institute. you got the ability to relocate, to join other divisions and all that. But at the end of the day, it's all about what's in it for you. We all know at the end of the day it's all about me, right? All about me. So make sure when you're working for a company, you're taking care of yourself. Making sure the company cares about your safety, cares about your education, and your success long term with your family and your financial outcome, right? Though it's great to go make a bunch of money for somebody you don't know, what about making a bunch of money for yourself? Being a Davy employee allows you to do that with employee stock ownership. But, you know, big bad wolf still, right? Big Davy, right? Well, let's look at some of the companies that you might not even realize are Davy companies. These are all companies now, and there's others I couldn't even fit on this slide because I ran out of room, that are all Davy companies, right? You might have seen these companies in your areas of work. You might even work for some of these companies and you didn't realize, oh, wait, they're a Davy company? North American Tree Service out of Georgia just joined the team. All right, Chippers, we joined this year. Arbor Guard out of Charlotte in Atlanta in Augusta. Wolf Tree out of Knoxville. All right, all great company. Cortese Tree out of Tennessee. All great companies that I personally know that are a part of the Davy team that I didn't even realize at the time were a part of Davy. What's really cool about that is it allows a little bit of individuality. Even on my shirt here, Chippers, the Davy company. So yeah, I'm a part of Davy, but I still get to be Chippers. We still get to do the same thing we've always done with our customers. We still get to support our customers the exact same way. And the way I explain it most to our customers is, hey, it's like a football team, right? I'm a huge football fan. Imagine a team whose players and coaches have stayed the exact same, but their training facility got way better. Their weight room got better. Their practice field got better. All of that just got better, but it's the same players playing the same plays, the same coaches. That's what happens when you become a Davy a company. Davy comes along to support the company help you. Yeah, there's some changes. Of course, there's always changes in life. So there are some changes. There's some things that are different with Davian and our other companies. Absolutely. But all in all, it gives you a great opportunity to be a part of something much bigger than yourself, to be a part of an industry that cares about you, cares about the environment, be a part of a company who cares about you and the environment, and also takes care of your long 
financial future. Right? We all know we got to take care of ourselves financially. This allows you to do that. So how do you want to get involved? Well, Chris, this is all you. So right now, you can text 91385 to Davey, and Davey will get back to you. You can go to jobs.davey.com, or you can call us at 877-411-7601. Chris, anything else that they can do here to help get in contact with you or other recruiters like you? This this pretty much covers it. These are the easiest ways. Um, the text 91385 will bring up that um, just bit of info there on the right that you see name, last name, email, um, just to get your basic info in. And um, that will allow us to be in touch with you as soon as you, well, we, we allow 24 hours as soon as you send that text to get back in touch. Also, the jobs.davy.com, once you apply, um, a recruiter sees that information and email goes directly to them with your resume. Um, we can look over it and, um, you know, the areas, if we need to, to give you a call back and talk more in detail, that number also works. So those are the, those are the three best ways um, to, to get your name in and let us know you're interested to, to start a yep. conversation just because you apply or just because you text that or give us a call. Um, okay. Maybe it's just because you want to ask a few more questions or you're curious about something. We're more than happy okay. to talk about that, I'll answer it. questions <clears throat> about your experience or how our training works or locations or the service okay. lines that Travis Balls. mentioned. So still get your name in there. Still get your application in, even if it's just to have a conversation to answer some curiosity. So, Chris, in your recruiting role, I'm sure you hear get a bunch of questions all the time okay, let me see from more. all different kinds of people. What are some of the regular questions you hear when people are interested in Davey or questions they want to know about Davey? Yeah, um, well, you know, how the employee ownership works, because obviously that makes us stand out, um, you know, not just in the tree care industry, but but in any industry, quite, quite frankly. Um, so I get a lot of those questions. Um, and which I'm which I'm happy answering. Um, and what are some other questions I get? Um, it, a lot of. Me if I'm wrong, wasn't Davy like the number nine ESOP in the country? Like yeah, the we're the yeah we're the ninth largest employee owned. Um, service company in the country at the moment. Um, you know, so sometimes, sometimes you know, that big status can can pay off. Um, you know, we're not doing it for, for anything other than ourselves and our professional development and the environment around us. Um, another question, Travis, is how our training goes. Um, you know, a lot of people want to know, hey, do you send me somewhere to train? Do I, how, how does that happen? So again, that's something that if you apply, we'll be more than happy to go in detail with you. Um, but basically, you know, we have career development program. Um, we train in the field. And as Travis already mentioned, we have the Dating Institute of Tree Sciences. There's a lot of opportunities. So um, it's a, that's a good question. What's another really um, transferring? Oh, while sorry. You think about, while you think about training, that's one of the greatest things about having the resources available. So I just had motor carrier up here in the office, right? Checking all of our vehicles, make sure our vehicle is DOT and federal mm -hmm. motor carrier compliant. That's something I didn't have to worry about. So that's something that they came in and helped us do as a support thing. So my employees didn't have to worry about that. As a manager, I didn't have to worry about that. We've got Emmett Schutz, who's our regional trainer up here. A lot of people know Emmett from his days at Arbor Master. Great trainers, a lot of great trainers all over the country who gets to come up and spend time one-on-one. -on -one. We had him for two days here. He took all of our newest employees and climbed and did felling with them for two days. Put them all in saddles, got them all off the ground. Great opportunity, again, that most companies have a hard time doing because we have such a need for getting work done. It's hard to find time to go train in the field. I've got resources available where I can just reach out and boom, have trainers here. And my crews can keep working, keep production going, and training doesn't get missed. So absolutely great things to touch on, Chris. You were gonna say about transfers? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's another question, relocation. Um, I actually started with Davey in Las Vegas and transferred to the Northeast. Um, so, you know, that's <laughs> that's still always in the back of my mind is where I'm going to go next, um, which is fun to think about. You know, there's a lot of opportunities. You're not 
stuck. Um, you're not stuck in, in one space. There's a lot of room, not just for growth, you know, professionally, but personal growth. Like the people I've met moving around and living in different places has been phenomenal. It's just been awesome. And one of the biggest things I think we want to take home from this is I always had a vision of what Davy was. And I always had the vision that it was just a bunch of just very, you know, older, maybe less experienced, not using the same, not using, you know, the, my mind, I always picture the Davy tree climbers as, you know, three strand manila rope, body thrusting, you know, that's not <laughs> it. I mean, we've got climber climbing on zigzags, single rope technique systems, moving rope technique systems. We've got competitors like myself as a competitive climber working for Davey. Davey is not what you think it is. So now that you know the Davey that I know, what questions may you have that Chris and I can answer right now? Hopefully Kale's getting some questions or some responses out there. If not, shoot him some things because he's probably busy stuffing his face with lunch. He needs to get busy working and typing. <laughs> it is, I guess it is called a lunch and learn. Um, <laughs> uh, I have a question. What is the... Uh, hiring process like? What are you looking for uh, in a potential employee? Well, let me answer from the manager side first, and then Chris can answer from the recruiter side. So for a manager side, I truly believe in hiring for attitude and teaching skill. Though you can come in with all the skill in the whole world, you can't teach attitude. So I look for people who are interested in working in the outdoors, enjoy the team match pro aspect of what we do, and I really enjoy problem solving, because that's ultimately what this industry is, is every day you're just solving problems. So I look for attitude when I look at hiring, and right now, there's not a person who could walk in my door that I probably wouldn't give a shot to um, to see how they do. And maybe this fits them, maybe it doesn't, and that happens a lot. We have a high turnover rate in this industry, because it's not for everybody. For those of you in the Lunch and Learn right now, who have the sawdust in your boots and in your pocket, you understand that, it's not for everybody. And we try to get a lot of people through the door, because we know for every 10 people who come through the door, we're probably going to get four all-stars out of it. That's what about you, Chris? Yeah, likewise, likewise. Um, I mean, it's always great to see experience, but that's not, that's not, you know, the, the, the thing I'm sold on. I, you know, I want to, uh, when I give someone a call who's applied to talk to them or I want to hear, you know, an upbeat attitude, a good attitude, somebody that's just ready to learn. Um, and yeah, they, they may not like it. They may not know that, you know, I, I don't know if I like climbing. I don't know if I like it. And that's fine. Um, there's one way to find out. <laughs> um, and that's to give it a shot. Um, other th things I look for, you know, it's like I said, I mean, it's always great to have forestry degrees and five years of climbing experience and have your own equipment and have, um, you know, all these licenses. That's great. But it's also great to have the attitude where, you know, you want to, you know, become a member of, of a company and um, of a team and just, you know, give it your all and learn. And like the example that Travis gave of, of Jim Houston, you know, yeah, I mean, basically everybody's going to start dragging brush, <laughs> you know, at some point just to just to see where you where you are and start growing from there. And that's really what I want to see more than anything. Okay. Uh, do you have anything... Um, that you, because, uh, uh, Travis having, uh, had Chippers Inc and Chippers Inc just got acquired by Davey, um, is there anything you'd like to talk about with, uh, someone who might have a small tree service, uh, that they're looking for becoming a part of Davey? Yeah, of course. If, if you're out there and you're looking like, Hey, you know, maybe I want to join a team that have the great resources. You know, it's one of those things, Davey is very selective in who they acquire. It's not, it's not everybody by any means. Um, the best way to foster those conversations is probably get in touch with a, a local manager first and, you know, find the Davey office nearest you and just kind of start that conversation and let that manager kind of run up the whole. Obviously, everybody has my contact information because it's out there in the whole wide world. Call somebody for tree stuff. I guess you could always reach out to me um, and I can get you in contact with the right people. But really think about it more of why you want to select um, or why you want to join a Davy team. A lot of people look at it as just a paycheck. Yeah, it's not. That. It's not like that. So I'm talking to the owners right now who are on the lunch and learn, who are thinking, you know, maybe I'm tired of chasing all these rabbits and I'm looking for somebody to help me do this. Really look at why you want to join Davy. If it's just to get a paycheck because you want to sell your company, that's not the right reason. I highly encourage you to go look at other companies for that. If you want to join a company that's got a great team approach, that values your, your brand, it values your people, values your you know, education and all that, then Davy's where you want to work. You know, there's a lot of good things to acquiring company. There's also some bad sides. You know, 
when you acquire a company, your company, your employees are going to go through some change. There's a lot of change stress that occurs. Shippers is dealing with that right now in this whole year of acquisition. You know, the first year is very change oriented. You know, it's it's learning different things and finding out different things. And it was all stuff that, you know, what we probably should have known to start with. You know, like for instance, here's an easy one: metal gas cans. Yep. <laughs> if you're driving a truck down the road, it needs to have a metal gas can, not a plastic one. Okay, so you change your gas cans. Well, we should have been doing that anyway. Shame on us for not doing it prior to becoming a dating app. So I understand that there's going to be some stress change, but I would encourage you to talk to somebody locally first and kind of really think hard about why you want to do this. Davey is just not interested in going out there and buying everybody. That's not what Davey wants. We like competition. We like good competition. We encourage it, actually. I actually get really stuck. So when I see a tree company in our area working, this competition is good for business and it's good for employees. It gives them options and lets them see what the difference workforce is. If it was all one company in the whole industry, we would never know if it's good or bad. We couldn't bet it off anything. So I actually encourage competition like that, Kale. So hopefully that answers your question without dancing around it too much. No, no, that's great. Um, Christina, can you talk to anything about uh, the different regions looking for arborists um, and if there's any specific types of arborists, I guess, that, that they're looking for or, or different experiences? Oh. Oh, sure. Well, um, different regions, you know, throughout the country, whether it's, you know, a climbing arborist, um, climbing arborist trainees, um, experienced climbing arborists, all of those throughout the residential and utility service lines, but also um, with the Davy Resource Group that Travis got into a bit, um, urban, urban foresters, utility arborists, inventory arborists, a lot of the work they do is on municipal and government contracts. So to, to be on to be on that property just doing an inventory, they require an ISA certification. Sometimes depending on the work, um, like maybe they're doing an assessment or maybe they're gonna bring in and you know build build something new, a park or a business establishment. Sometimes they're even wanting a master arborist level to be supervising that site to look at, you know, how the trees are going to do with the new buildings and um, consult in that way. Um, so everything from, you know, a climbing arborist trainee all the way up to, you know, a master arborist, we're, we're always willing to talk and answer questions to any of those levels. Someone just looking to get into it and get their certification to somebody that's, you know, um, earned their master's credential. Um, I'm a bit familiar, more familiar with the East Coast now, but I know out west um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of fire mitigation. Um, a lot of arborists out there focus on fire mitigation and stuff like that. So I know that the Davy Resource Group there does a lot of contract work in that area as well. So. And just, just to be clear, you know, when we talk about arborists, we understand that Z133 defines arborist as anyone working in the profession of arboriculture. So we're all arborists. Believe it or not, Chris is an arborist. She's a recruiter for the tree care industry, which is the profession of arboriculture. She's an arborist. Now, we talk about certified arborists, that's ISA certified arborist or ISA certified board master arborist. By all means, that's one of the things Davey helps you get that. We've got learning modules that you can do online for free that are going to help you do test prep for that. Um, you can also do things such as tree stuff. Has Lindsay Purcell, who has an amazing arborist prep class, shameless plug, Lindsay, for your class there. Great YouTube uh, series you can rent from uh, treestuff.com if you're looking to get certified arborist that way. But Davey helps pay for all those credentials and maintain all those credentials as well. So if you if you're just an arborist working in the industry and you're like, hey, you know what? I'd love to work out in fire restoration work, but I got all oh, my certified arborist. No worries, we can get that. Get you taken care of. Get you trained, ready for the test. Pay for the test. Get you on board and get you doing that job. Yeah, absolutely. There's some, there's actually some postings just for an example that I know of 100% certain in Western New York for an inventory arborist, an ISA is required. Uh, but those managers are willing to talk to anybody that can obtain that within 90 days. So. All right, great. Uh, well, can you go back to that slide that has uh, the information on where to go to look for Davy jobs real quick? There we go. So that's what you're looking for if you are looking to try to get to be a part of Davey. Um, and I'm not mistaken, if, am I not mistaken that you can also go directly to companies that uh, are Davey affiliates and uh, look for positions from them? Absolutely. You can always contact like Chippers. You can come talk to me. 
You could go down to Wolf Tree in Tennessee if you wanted to work in utility or go to Cortese Tree if you wanted to work in a residential commercial in Tennessee. You could go down to Arbor Guard, Jonathan McNeil down there at Arbor Guard, or Chris Hines down at Arbor Guard, talk to one of those guys down there, Jones Brothers, lots of different companies out there. Find the office nearest you, Davy office, or an affiliate office like Chippers is, and definitely do it that way as well. Lots of different avenues. And the real thing, um, go as we finish up, I want to focus on is this webinar, this Lunch and Learn, is not about trying to steal employees. I don't want to steal employees. All right, but I know there's a lot of employees out there who have interest and have want to know knowledge and might secretly want to know more about Davy. I hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully, while you're sitting there eating lunch, you're learning about, hey, Davy's not the big bad wolf. They're not this horrible bunch of old white dudes running around just buying up all the tree care companies out there to make one brand. That's not what it is. It's about something much bigger than that. It's about employee ownership. It's about individual success and promotion and continued growth in the industry, education, but ultimately about your safety. Davy strives to deliver a safe, efficient, quality product. The very first biggest resource we have, though, is our people, and we value our people. I didn't know that before I came in, and I definitely can tell you, being an outsider coming into Davy, I feel that every single day when I come to work. I feel as a value member of one team, one mission, one Davy, and the success that Davy has, which helps my stock, which helps Chris's stock, which helps everybody's stock. So. Great. Well, thank you very much for doing this, Travis. Thank you very much for uh, uh, joining us, Christina. Um, and thank you for watching, and uh, everyone have a nice rest of your Real day. Real quick, Kale. Yes. Don't forget, if you guys are looking for more training, check out Tree Stuff Ground Operations Specialist I taught. You can rent it on treestuff.com. You get some great education from me for like like a ridiculous amount of hours I talk to a camera, which is really hard. <laughs> and you get some great training from your people if you need other training resources. Check out all of Tree Stuff's awesome webinars. Stay tuned for more Lunch and Learns and hope to see you guys all in person at an event near. Great. Take care. Perfect. Thank you.